Hey guys, so today I'm recording on my own. Nick uh, wasn't available. I thought, hey, you know, day off. Let's, you know, walk around and have a good time and enjoy the sun. And you know, I cover a few games as well along the way. So the first game I covered was Two Wonders. Um, it's kind of a wonder that this game is on Steam, but I mean, it's a classic puzzle game. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. I I enjoyed it. I'm not really a big puzzle guy myself, but I found it was pretty interesting. Um, it's got a basic setup. I, I didn't realize what, how to play because I just jumped straight in. I don't think there was a tutorial. If there was, I skipped it. And uh, yeah, I liked it. I mean, the graphics feel, the graphics feel like they're from say maybe uh, ten years or so ago. Like they they feel so dated that. Uh, and also, it's kind of not just that they're dated, but they feel like almost like a uh, like casino graphics, but like from the early '90s or maybe like maybe that's too far back. Okay, um, I'm being too mean, I guess. Uh, from maybe you know 15 years or more ago, you know, just really basic, you know, renderings like maybe early 2000 or so. So I mean. But that's not what you really play puzzle games for, right? Like, we don't play tic-tac-toe for, um, you know, the insane graphics. We play tic-tac-toe because it's a fun game and the human interaction. So, this game, the graphics, they're not the greatest, but that's okay. Uh, sound, um, I think it was pretty ambient from what I remember. I, I didn't have the volume. I was playing inside here at Walter Baker Center in Barhaven. And, uh, you know, it... Uh, it was okay. I mean, basic sound effects for a puzzle game. Nothing fancy. You don't, you know, nothing too exciting. Um, music was a bit more ambient. Um, but the actual gameplay, you know, it's, it's fun. You're on a timer, and you have only so long to switch around these different blocks. Now, what's interesting is some puzzle games they have that big, you know, area where you switch one by one. And that's how it works in this game, I should say. You switch each puzzle piece, block piece, one by one. So you can have maybe like a statue. Hey, you're going to switch that blue statue with a green something else. Um, I remember there was a Roman, Roman coin. Uh, that was another one. Uh, I really don't remember a lot of them, but it really doesn't matter. Um, but you have a timer to do all this. And you, I got... It's kind of intense. I mean, you, you try and find uh, the match. Uh, I think there's usually two or three matches in the whole stage. And as I said, it's, a, it's like a square stage. And you are moving these blocks around. And you get really absorbed into it. Uh, I don't usually like puzzle games. And I found this one very playable. Like, even if I lost, uh, I did a recording. Unfortunately, there was no mic. So you can't really, I wasn't really talking that much because I was so absorbed anyway. So I think I'm going to upload that footage. Um, and I've done 8-Bit Commando as well, uh, which unfortunately the same sort of dealio, but you'll see that video. Uh, so I'll probably re-record that too. Now with this game, I found it was really fun. The timer, I think they give you about 5 or 10 minutes to eat, be each stage. The interesting thing is, once you finish the first stage with, you know, that sort of block area, you can switch the different items. You can only switch, I should really say, between the area that you click. So you can switch top and bottom, or your center and then side, and then center and then right, and then wherever you click, and then down. Um, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't try clicking diagonally, but um, I had some that were already set up diagonally when I started the stage or after I'd finished a completed a piece. Uh, you have to line it up at least three in a row for it to sort of do a Tetris or whatever you want to call it, complete that line. Um, and it'll take away the three blocks. And if you watch that footage, unfortunately, you'll hear the sounds, like there's sounds in everything, but unfortunately my mic wasn't working. Uh, and I don't want to go back and play for another half an hour. Great game, but not uh, a game I would play for a whole half an hour uh, or longer. Um, it's a great game that, to pass the time, I remember getting in a bundle, I think it was a buck, it was a few dollars. Um, I wouldn't pay 
more than five bucks for this. I think ten dollars for this, unless you're a big puzzle fan and you you want to play this. Um, but it's very playable. Like there's nothing. I think in terms of puzzle games, this is a puzzle game I can enjoy. It. Coming from a guy that's not really a puzzle guy, I play a few. I play you know Tetris. I mean Street Fighter, which is very similar, the uh, X Men vs Street Fighter game. Um, I can't see. I can't even think of many right now because uh, just being put on the spot. But this game, you know what? I could play this game. Uh, I didn't. Don't remember seeing that there was any multiplayer or anything. But uh, you know, it, it, you know, not as Nick would say. You know, you don't always need multiplayer. And this game, I think, for five bucks, you know, it's great if you can get it in a bundle. I've seen it in bundles before. Um, I don't think there's high demand for this game, but you know it fills a niche and it's one of the better puzzle games and the graphics are nice I mean they're not cutting edge. They're no triple-a title, but not everything has to be and uh, You know I liked it. I thought it was fun fun enough for five bucks anything higher I would you know gradually be like you know what? No, <laughs> not for a game that seems to be that old um, and uh, it's a short burst game, uh, puzzle game. I, I can see myself playing longer if I had to, but uh, I think I would lose interest in it. Um, other than that, you know what? I, I'm not sure if there's much much more else for me to say. It, it's, you know, it's absorbing. And uh, that's what games, especially puzzle games, if they're interesting, you'll keep playing it. If it's a crappy puzzle game, and I learned the ropes pretty quickly and uh, without reading any tutorials and it's uh, straightforward and absorbing which is uh, you know and uh, entertaining so I'd say definitely pick this one up it's I used to see it in bundles all the time I don't see it so much now but uh, you know it's a fun little niche game it's not the flashiest of games but you know it, it's fun so yeah keep on gaming guys I'll see you later bye